Yo, what is up guys? This is Brian from GFD Games coming at you with another GTA 5 video and in this video I'll be showing you how to buy houses in GTA 5 single player. Now first thing uh, you're going to want to do is start up the internet and you're going to want to go in that search I find slash Google search bar and type in Lenny, just the name Lenny, L-E-N-N-Y. And that'll bring up uh, this guy Lenny Avery's uh, real estate site where he sells houses and everything and whatnot. So what uh, now as you can see it's right there in purple. So you click on that and right now uh, you know you can read all that that you want. But if you want to start to find or slash buy houses you're going to want to click on that giant map. And right there in the white icons there are houses. You can click on them, see the houses, see uh, what is appealing, uh, see which ones you want to buy, which look the coolest. And there are a bunch of houses. They're all up in... Uh, Vinewood, so you can really find them. And, I, and now this is the house that I that I think is the most cool, or the coolest, I guess, whatever. Uh, and uh, to find the house slash buy, you want to click on Get Directions in the top right. And what that does is it sets a waypoint on your map so that you can just go straight there right now. So I'm gonna hop in my car real quick and head over to the house. But first things first, uh, if you guys have any questions about this glitch slash easter egg on how to buy houses in uh, GT5 single player uh, follow me on Twitter and ask me questions there don't ask me any YouTube uh, comment questions because those are really hard to follow and all that so just tweet at me at, uh, my Twitter is at JBD games just like our YouTube channel so now that we are at the house as you can see uh, this is the pool this is the definitely the house that I checked out and it's funny because like the homeowner is right here and I just go up to him and clock him in the face which is pretty funny but you know whatever and then his wife runs away so now here is where the glitch starts to happen what you're gonna wanna do is stand in front of the door right here uh, it could be any door but uh, to be safe I guess just do it in front of the front door so just make sure you're looking at it I mean you don't have to be as far or as close as I am you could be uh, whatever distance you want just make sure that you're facing the door And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna switch to Franklin first thing so just wait for it to get to Franklin and then as soon as you're able to control Franklin, you switch to Trevor, just straight away. Now, just let him do his thing, let him get up or whatever, and then boom, just switch to Trevor as quick as you can. Now, right there, it'll switch to Trevor, and then once you are Trevor, once he's done uh, doing whatever, being drunk and shit, you can just switch over to Michael again. And now, once you're Michael, what you're going to want to do is just sprint straight at the door, straight at the front door. Now, let's just wait for fucking Trevor to do his thing. And like I was saying, just switch to Michael, and then once... Once you spawn as Michael, just start sprinting towards the front door and you will uh, have a loading screen. So right here as it's going into Michael real quick and just start sprinting into the door. And as you see, a loading screen pops up. It says homeowner, which is kind of weird. I mean, you're here already. He's a homeowner. He owns his own house. So it's kind of weird. I don't know why they would do homeowner. And as you can see, this house kind of looks familiar, right? Yeah, because it's Michael's house, right? The inside of all houses will be Michael's house. It's kind of a glitch, I guess. So... Uh, but you can still control everything. You can go inside his room, go and change your clothes all you want, go inside his kids' rooms, take a hit off of fucking Jimmy's bong if you really want to, I mean, do all of that. So yeah, uh, I guess this is kind of a glitch slash Easter egg. I mean, it's still, it, the exterior is not the house, but the interior is his normal house. It's really dumb, but I mean, it's pretty sick, so if you want to have a home somewhere else, then you could just do that. You can just... Uh, I have a house in Vinewood Hills, just like Franklin, I guess. So here is the uh, the daughter's room. Uh, I forgot her name. Fuck. But whatever. Now I'll go downstairs. And you know what? Also, there's something that's really, really stupid that they forgot to fix, I guess. Is that the outside, if you look through the uh, dining room doors, I guess, right here. It is still the outside of Michael's house. Look at that. You can see Michael's pool. You can see Michael's outdoor, his view. Really dumb. Oh, uh, you can't leave the doors though. You can go up to them and they would teleport you out probably to the back of the house that you bought. Now I'm just gonna walk around, you can watch the TV, you can kick around this exercise ball if you want to. It's really I've actually never even noticed that. This is actually the first time that I've noticed this purple bouncy ball, which is pretty sick. So now I'm gonna leave the house and when you leave the house it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be a loading screen that says homeowner on the back or not the back, the bottom. As you can see here, just walk up to the door. As you see I'm taking just one last look around and just walk up to the door. And then it's another loading screen. So that's his home motor. Once again, it doesn't make sense because he already owns a house. And right there, it teleports you back out to the front where your car is right there waiting for you. The back is waiting for you and everything. So, yeah, like I said before, if you guys have any questions about this glitch, it's not working for you. Definitely a tweet at me. Do not leave any. Well, I mean, you can leave, leave a comment saying, oh, yeah, good video, great video, whatever you want. 
But if you guys have any questions, follow us follow us on Twitter and uh, tweet at us at JBD Games. And yes, that's the best way to get in contact to us. So yeah, um, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Brian from JBD Games signing out. Peace. <laughs>